Thomas Bianco, he was charged and convicted of a murder in um, in a small town. Now the the young girl who was the victim in this case, uh, she really she grabbed my attention when I I looked at her picture. Her name's Julie Monson. I have a daughter that age, 18 years old. I can't, as a mother, I cannot even imagine the pain, the anguish, the, you know, not knowing what happened to your child. I, I can't imagine the pain of, of her family. Um, so, you know, when when they did charge someone uh, with her murder you know there there must have been maybe some sense of justice you know okay my, you know my child is gone but they you know they found the person they got the guy and he's going to be punished because you know we trust in the law we trust our judicial system you know we want we want what's right now going forward this young man thomas bianco his case was overturned and he was later exonerated and uh Later on, you know, they learned that exculpatory evidence had been withheld. So the, you know, the, the prosecutor in this case withheld evidence. Um, you know, it was official misconduct for sure in this case. There was also false testimony again. Uh, you know, it's a very common thing for paid informants or jailhouse informants to be exploited uh, to gain a conviction. You know, it doesn't matter if they've got the right guy, they just have somebody. And I don't even know if, if they care that it's accountability because you, you've got the wrong person. You have the wrong person. Or at least you don't have the right person that you're charging and prosecuting. So this young girl this beautiful young girl is she's she's gone she's gone there's no life no future for her and her family you know is going to suffer for the rest of their lives and to this day there is no consequence there's no accountability who did this to this young girl The person's still out there. Who knows? He, you, we can be face to face with this person. You know, they're they're just out there living their life, and this young girl is just gone, stolen from her family. I think that's one of the things we tend to forget um, when we when we focus on wrongful convictions and you know the the secondary victims in all of these cases which is you know the the men and women who are falsely accused and prosecuted and have to endure years behind bars um you know they lose their freedom they lose their sense of of self, uh, their sense of safety, they're, that's stripped away from them. But, you know, we, we tend to forget that there are those initial victims that are also uh, w without any, any justice. They're almost forgotten, you know? And how, how do you, how do you make good on that? How do you go back and say oh we're gonna get the right person this time you know we're we lose faith 